A Russian space capsule damaged while in orbit is back on Earth tonight. Yeah, it made the roughly two-hour return without any astronauts on board, though. News 6's James Barbero talked with a space expert about the concerns bringing the capsule back. Russia's space agency broadcasting a successful landing of its uncrewed Soyuz capsule. Undocking confirmed. The Soyuz leaving the International Space Station and returning to Earth three months after Russia says it believes a micrometeoroid damaged the capsule in orbit. And this is uh, the issue that's under discussion right now here in Mission Control as to what may be causing this stream of particles. The coolant leak creating concerns about higher temperatures inside the capsule upon the heat of re-entry. So Russia deciding to return the capsule without the three-man crew it flew to space. And lift off a new ride back to Earth. And launch a replacement spacecraft. NASA astronaut Frank Rubio and two cosmonauts will ride home later this year. That Soyuz capsule arriving at the space station a month ago. Russia reporting that had the crew been on board for the return, temperatures inside the capsule would have reached 120 degrees. I don't think this was a case of you would kill astronauts or even incapacitate them. The, the concern always was you could overheat the flight computer, the avionics systems, and then the spacecraft might malfunction on the way down. They were hoping to get the old vehicle back, the damaged vehicle, so they could examine it, find out exactly what happened to it. And that appears to have gone off without a hitch. The Soyuz crew is now expected to return home in another six months toward the end of September. In Cape Canaveral, Brevard County, I'm James Sparbero, getting results new six.